If you want to meet an eight, nine, or 10, we need to talk. For the last 15 years, my agency has been helping the most successful single gentlemen meet the top 10% of beautiful women in the nation. Women who are beautiful, sweet, slender, smart, and looking for a serious committed relationship. I've never been very successful meeting women at bars or nightclubs. I think the reason is that the superficial conversation that you're involved in at a nightclub just doesn't, really doesn't go anywhere. The kind of relationship I'm looking for is where we're both on the same page. We both want the same things, we both want to be serious, and we want to work towards something. Dating within the workplace is always problematic, uh, or can be. So it, it really didn't allow me the opportunity to meet the quality and caliber of woman I was hoping to spend my life with. I'm somewhat retired, so I'm not really in a business environment where I would meet a lot of people in that way. So I just thought this would be a good way to meet quality females and uh, be introduced to them. Once I'm one-on-one -on -one with them, I feel very confident. Uh, but to go out and then make that first introduction uh, in my position and stage in life is, is a difficult thing to do. Model Quality Introductions was founded to help upscale, commitment-minded, affluent men find an easier way to begin a new relationship. If I was to write a personal ad, it would say single white female, very natural, um, very down to earth, but adventurous and um, homemaker. All of our clients seem to have one thing in common. They're upscale, financially comfortable, but suffer from a real shortage of time. We're gonna find our gals walking up to beautiful women right on the street, engaging them in conversation, finding out if they're unattached, and if they're interested in a better way to meet an extremely upscale man. I found the women to be articulate, um, intelligent, attractive, fun to be around, and there's not one date that I've been on that I had an unpleasant experience. I didn't know at that time that all the women I would meet would be so attractive. So uh, it's actually funny, after the second or third uh, date, I used to ask the women to describe themselves. And after the second date, I gave up. I just waited and then the most attractive woman that came into the restaurant was her. I want you to have access to more beautiful women than you'd ever possibly need in order to pick the perfect one for you. The kind of relationship I'm looking for is somebody that can be my friend and my lover at the same time. I think that building a friendship is a great foundation and as long as I can have fun with him and he's a great guy, then I think I'm going to have a great time with him. I will show you profiles of hundreds of girls in our registry and knock your socks off. Staff at MQI has been fabulous in terms of screening people and fixing me up with people that I think potentially could be a good match. You have to take a step. You have to do it, otherwise nothing is going to change in your life. And I would advise people to take that chance and see. And I just think also they won't be disappointed. To meet a guy in a club who comes up to me with these one-liners, it's, it's hard and I feel like I don't really get to know anyone and I don't give men in clubs the time of day usually. There's so many choices and there's so many beautiful women out there. So guys have so many choices and they're looking for the bigger, better deal. I'm very busy doing what I need to be doing and I, I have um, select nights a week that I don't want to you know, just crapshoot it. To not have that head start of knowing someone's bio, their interests, what they're looking for, you're jumping to conclusions and more than likely you're meeting someone that's already taken.